All right, welcome back, Vagabonds. I am going to take you on a little tour of um, the monastery here in Santa Clara. Um, it's a new one. Um, it's where the uh, Santa Reina Isabella is uh, um, buried. So uh, we're just gonna kind of do a quick tour here, kind of take you around through a typical day uh, here in Coimbra, kind of to, uh, see what uh, what we can get into, uh, what things uh, are going on here. So this is uh, not really much of a plan for today, but I figured that it would be kind of fun just to take you on some of like the uh, tourist spots around uh, Coimbra. So this is on the opposite side of uh, where you come in on the uh, train station. Uh, so I'll go ahead and give you some views over here, just kind of give you a little bit of a, an idea, kind of show you where um, the uh, train station is in uh, comparison to where we are. All right, so if you're unfamiliar with uh, Santa Reina Isabella, she is the Holy Queen. Uh, one of the things that she's known for is the uh, roses. The story is that her husband uh, forbid her from uh, going down and feeding the, the uh, poor. So she was feeding the poor and her uh, husband forbid her from going down, taking food down to the impoverished people. So one night when she was going down uh, to the Baja area from the Alto, uh, she was stopped by her husband, the king, and uh, said, what are you doing? And she said, I am just walking down to the Baja. It's like, well, what do you have in your cloak? And she said, I have roses. When she opened up her cloak to uh, show her husband what was underneath, she showed him that there were roses, or so the story goes. And uh, so like, she is known for, uh, for roses, and uh, that's kind of the, the uh, mythology that's associated with her. So there, you might have learned a little bit more about uh, some things that you might not uh, know about here in Coimbra. Places that I'm trying to highlight here are places that you may not know about, such as uh, Senovo here, the stuff that's over by the University of Coimbra. You might be familiar with some of the other locations in Coimbra. Therefore, you may be familiar with these places. I'm trying to create a, an exhaustive list, but I do want to try to put out some things for you to explore here in Coimbra. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and until then, I'll see you on the next one. Ate luego.